Hey everyone, it's time for another edition of Storytime. Uh, sorry I'm not my usual setting, the classroom's being used right now, but we're up in my office. You can see this lovely picture of Rick behind me for one of the many awards he's won, along with a few other awards back there. Uh, he recently got a Lifetime Achievement Award for his work in the pet industry, and the store was recognized as Pet Store of the Year. And then recently in town, with a paper called City Pulse, we won Best Pet Store in the area for like the 10th year in a row. So. It's kind of a big time here at Proust, not to mention Kirby just had a baby. So there's a lot going on at the store. Uh, so yeah, it's been an exciting time, which is why I haven't really had a lot of updated videos lately. If you watched last week's video, you see that I did a, a wedding for Fred and Ginger. So lots of cool stuff going on. But today, I have a sedan plated lizard with me, and he's going to help me read a book called Animal Store Alphabet Book. This is a pretty cool book by Susan Bierman and Rebecca Hamlin, and it talks about different animals while going through the alphabet um, of animals with each letter of that name. But first, we're going to talk about our plated lizard friend. So, here you can get a closer look. I love these lizards. So, I know this is a boy because of his brightly colored uh, chin here. You see he's got a bunch of blues going on in there, some turquoise, even a little bit of purple. The females, just like a lot of other lizards, don't have that type of color. It's usually the males that have this type of color. Now, it gets the name plated lizard because of all these really, really thick scales. Now, all reptiles have scales. Some of them just have thicker scales than others. Well, his are actually called osteoderms. And osteoderms are like bone plating. So, they're kind of fused together in certain spots and built more like a turtle shell than they are actual scales. And in fact, the ones on his head are actually fused to his skull. So that's pretty cool. These guys are omnivores. So that means that they love eating both insects and fruits and veggies. Really where they come from, it's really dry and arid, so they don't find a lot of fruits, but they will find a lot of veggies and they will find lots of insects and small lizards to eat. Now they're very important to their food chain because with them eating all those small insects, they help keep that population in control. But these guys are also food for larger mammals and larger lizards, so they kind of play like an intermediary type uh, spot there. He's got very sharp claws, see he's scratching up my hand a little bit, but that's because he lives in areas where there's lots of rocks and he likes to be able to climb and get underneath things and dig when he has to. Now they're very very fast lizards, so that he can get away very quickly, but once he starts getting comfortable in my hand, you can see he does okay. He's just not very used to being held by people yet but he's getting there, he's getting much better. Uh, they have very, very big ears. If you look at most reptiles, they have an ear slit. They don't have external ears like we do, they have ears that are inset. And so with how big his are compared to the other lizards, he can hear very well, which adds to his speed. He can hear predators coming from a long while away, and then he can take off very fast. So, he's looking a little anxious, but I can get him calmed down. Most lizards like it when you rub their head. They have a lot of nerve centers running up there, and a lot of times to get them calmed down, I'll just lightly rub there, and he seems to be okay. So I think he is ready to do our story time. So Animal Store Alphabet Book by Susan Bierman. Ready, buddy? Let's see. If I can get the pages unstuck. Most people would edit their videos at this point, but you guys know, I don't like editing my videos. I just like doing them live. It's more fun. All right. Welcome to the animal store, where this is what you'll see, the Who Knew Zoo just down the street with pets from A to Z. Amphibians seem quite confused. They don't know where to dwell. First in water, then on land, their webbed feet serve them well. The bearded dragon breathes no fire, she is a gentle beast. She puffs her spiky chin to prove she's not scared in the least. I forgot to say A is for amphibian, B is for bearded dragon, but I think you guys picked up on that. C is for coral. Though tiny coral animals build homes beyond belief, some leave behind their skeletons to form a coral reef. D is for Degu. Degu is strange, his teeth are orange, as if they've turned to rust. He never takes a bubble bath, a Degu bathes in dust. E 
E is for Eclectus Parrot. Colorful Eclectus Parrots wear green and red and blue. So clever they can learn to talk and have a chat with you. F is for Ferret. The frisky ferret runs and romps, he'll squeeze beneath your door. Then hide his toys and steal your socks, a rascal to the core. If you've paid attention to my other videos, I've featured half these animals so far. And we went over a lot of these facts. G is for guinea pig. The guinea pig is not a pig, really it's a cabbie. Some have short hair, some have long, and some are soft and some wavy. H is for hedgehog. The hedgehog is a ball of quills whenever he's upset but he's a softy underneath, a friendly, playful pet. <clears throat> I is for iguana. The green iguana's quite, the green iguana's quite a jock. He'll run and swim and climb. He also likes to bob his head and wave from time to time. J is for jungle carpet python. A jungle python's born, so small, yet everyone agrees. When she's full grown, you never want to give the snake a squeeze. K is for kitten. A kitten has such energy, he'll caper, pounce, and leap. But look again, he's tuckered out and fallen fast asleep. L is for lovebird. Two lovebirds stumbled on their perch make such a cozy pair. They groom each other every day with tender, loving care. M is for millipede. Though millipedes have many legs, they're really rather slow. They'd rather curl up tight and hide than hurry up and go. N is for Nile monitor. The Nile monitor looks like a modern dinosaur. His fork-like tongue helps find food for this hungry carnivore. O is for Aranda. Aranda wears a fancy hat so beautiful and chic. Exotic veils for fins and tails make this goldfish unique. P is for pygmy opossum. The pygmy opossum lives alone. She loves to run and climb. Asleep all day, at play all night, she lives in backward time. Q is for Quaker parrot. A Quaker can be comical. His antics are a treat. And when he shakes from head to tail, you'll know he wants to eat. R is for rabbit. The rabbit wants to dig and chew. She often likes to doze. She shows her curiosity by wiggling her nose. S is for scorpion. The scorpion can pinch and sting. He's risky at both ends. But treat him well and he learn his ways and he can still be your friend. T is for tortoise. The tortoise shell has 60 bones, a fact you can't ignore. It must work well because some live a hundred years or more. U is for umbrella cockatoo. When umbrella cockatoo is calm, her feathered crest is down. But when she's startled or annoyed, she lifts her royal crown. V is for veiled chameleon. The veiled chameleon stripes and spots make this reptile clown. Climbing high, he hooks his tail and dangles upside down. W is for White's Tree Frog. White's Tree Frog is a lazy guy. He'll smile at you and stare. Then suddenly he'll spy a snack and leap from here to there. X is for X-ray fish. It's crystal clear that X-ray fish are not like all the rest. These tetra fish have see-through skin. Now aren't you impressed? Y is for yellow-bellied slider. The yellow-bellied slider sits along the water's rim, basking calmly on a log before he takes a swim. Z is for zebra finch. Zebra finches have bright beaks and tails striped white and black, but only males learn to sing. They seem to have the knack. When looking for some things to do next ho-hum afternoon, the animals will hope that you'll come back and visit the animal store. Come again. Well, that was a pretty cool book. Just like a lot of the books, I actually don't read them ahead of time. I like to be surprised just like you guys. 
So sometimes my cadence gets a little bit off. That's the rhythm at what I read, but that's fine. Because just like all my videos, I prefer to keep mistakes in them. Also, I'm really surprised by some of the animals they use because the uh, way my brain works, I would have picked an animal whose very start of their name picks with, starts with that letter. But they picked animals whose names, full names, start with that letter, like the White's Tree Frog. I would have picked an animal whose name starts with a W, like a waxworm or a weasel or something. So it was really cool. And we learned a lot of cool facts. And part of being in the animal game is that there's always cool new facts to learn. So uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about our plated lizard friend. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed our book. So we will see you next time. Say hi.